Let's get right into it. Number 9. Cassava's Hidden Cyanide This innocent-looking root is actually trying to kill you. It's packed with compounds that turn into hydrogen cyanide when damaged, the same stuff used in chemical weapons. The plant releases this poison when damaged. One poorly prepared cassava root can contain enough cyanide to send you to the emergency room. There are two types of cassava, sweet and bitter. Sweet cassava has less poison. Bitter cassava is straight up trying to poison you. In Uganda, almost 100 people got cyanide poisoning at a community gathering after eating improperly prepared cassava flour. Symptoms include vomiting, dizziness, rapid breathing, racing heart, and potentially nervous system shutdown or passing out. Despite being potentially deadly, cassava is a staple food for millions of people. They've figured out how to tame this killer root. It requires careful processing, peeling, soaking, fermenting, and cooking it just right. Skip any of these steps, and it remains deadly. Even if you survive acute poisoning, eating poorly processed cassava over time, is like slowly poisoning yourself. It can damage your thyroid and brain. Number 8. Honey's Baby Botulism Bomb Inside every jar of honey, there could be tiny spores of a bacteria called Clostridium botulinum. For adults and older kids, these spores are usually harmless. Our digestive systems and gut bacteria keep them in check. But for babies under one year old, it's different. A baby's gut isn't developed enough to fight them off. It's like an empty house with the door wide open. When these spores get into a baby's system, they wake up and multiply. Then they start producing a toxin so powerful it can paralyze muscles. This toxin tells the baby's nerves to stop working. First signs include the baby getting constipated. Their cry can become weak. They have trouble feeding. Their muscles get weaker and weaker. Eventually, they might have trouble breathing, potentially leading to complete paralysis. This can happen from just a tiny taste of honey, an amount so small you might not even notice it. Not on pacifiers, not in tea, not even mixed into other foods. It doesn't matter if it's raw or organic, all honey can have these spores. That's why doctors say absolutely no honey for babies under one year old. Wait until the baby's first birthday, and honey becomes safe as their immune system is stronger. Number 7. Green Potatoes Poison Plot If you notice your potatoes have a weird green tint, you might think it's no big deal. Wrong. That green color is nature's warning sign. When potatoes get exposed to light, they turn green. The green itself is just chlorophyll. But when potatoes turn green, they're also making a poison called solanine. It's the potato's defense against bugs. A normal potato has tiny amounts of this poison. But a green potato is cranking up its poison production. Eating enough green potato causes headaches, nausea, dizziness, confusion, and severe stomach pain. This isn't just mild food poisoning. In severe cases, it can even lead to death. There are historical cases of people dying because they ate green potatoes during food shortages. Keep potatoes in a dark, cool place. Cut off green spots or throw the potato away. The sprouts and eyes on old potatoes are also highly toxic. Number 6. Kidney Beans Gut Punch These innocent-looking red kidney beans are actually little chemical weapons. They're packed with a toxin called phytohemagglutinin. Eating just four or five undercooked kidney beans can cause severe nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. This toxin is the bean's natural defense mechanism against being eaten in the wild. Symptoms hit fast, within one to three hours after eating. First comes the nausea, then the vomiting, and finally severe diarrhea. Some people have ended up in the hospital from eating undercooked beans. Slow cookers are a mistake when preparing kidney beans. They don't get hot enough to destroy this toxin. In fact, they can make things worse by warming the beans just enough to make the toxin more potent. To eat kidney beans safely, you need to boil them properly. Soak your beans in water overnight, then throw that water out. It's now full of toxins. Next, put fresh water in and boil those beans hard. Not a gentle simmer, a full rolling boil for at least 30 minutes. Number 5. Elderberries Raw Deal Picking fresh elderberries and popping them in your mouth is like eating tiny cyanide bombs. Raw elderberries, their leaves and stems contain compounds that turn into cyanide in your body. The leaves and stems pack even more poison than the raw berries. In 1983, a group in California had an elderberry juice party. They pressed the berries along with the leaves and stems, basically making DIY poison juice. Everyone who drank it got super sick. They ended up with severe stomach cramps, vomiting, dizziness, and some could barely stand. The plant is basically trying to poison you from the inside out. Even a handful of raw berries can make you sick. People still use these berries because when you cook them properly, they're actually super good for you. The trick is to cook them thoroughly. 
Heat breaks down all those nasty compounds and makes them safe. Number 4. Rhubarb Leaves The Toxic Topping Rhubarb stalks are perfectly fine. People use them in pies and desserts all the time. But the big leafy greens at the top of rhubarb plants are poisonous. These leaves are packed with oxalic acid. Eating them causes oxalic acid to form crystals in your kidneys. Imagine tiny shards of glass forming inside one of your vital organs. This can cause kidney failure in severe cases. During World War I, when food was scarce, people desperate for food ate these leaves. It caused severe stomach pain, vomiting, and even death for some. Cooking them doesn't remove the toxins. The craziest part is the deadly leaves are attached to perfectly edible stalks. It's like nature's playing a twisted game. After a frost, some worry the poison might move from the leaves into the stalks. While scientists aren't certain this happens, avoid mushy or weird-looking stalks after a frost. Stick to the stalks. Toss those leaves. Number 3. Nutmeg's Mind-Bending Menace That spice in your kitchen, nutmeg, contains something called myristicin. A tiny bit is fine for flavor, but eat too much, and the myristicin takes over. It's dangerous in large amounts. Your body converts myristicin into something that affects your brain. It acts like a hallucinogen. The effects are unpredictable. The room starts spinning. Your mouth goes dry. Your heart races. Some people start seeing things that aren't there. Others feel like they're floating outside their bodies. Taking just 10 grams, about 2 teaspoons, can cause severe negative effects. Some people have ended up in the hospital. Large doses can even lead to seizures or heart problems. And this isn't a quick trip. The effects can last for two whole days. People have been accidentally tripping on nutmeg since the 1500s. Number 2. The Cashew's Itchy Secret Cashews in nature contain the same oil that makes poison ivy nasty. It's called urushiol, and it causes horrible itchy rashes. About 80% of people are allergic to this stuff. When the cashew grows on the tree, it hangs below a cashew apple. Around the nut is a shell filled with this oil. Harvesting raw cashews without protection would leave you covered in a rash like poison ivy. Eating a truly raw cashew can cause rashes, itching, and swelling inside your throat. That's why you'll never see truly raw cashews in stores. The ones labeled raw are actually steamed or roasted first to destroy the urushiol. Food companies have to carefully remove the shells and roast the nuts at super high temperatures. This cooking process destroys the oil and makes the cashews safe to eat. Cashews aren't alone in this. They're part of the same family as mangoes and pistachios, which also contain this oil, especially in mango skin. Number 1. Apple Seeds Cyanide Kiss Inside that innocent-looking apple is a dark secret. Those tiny black seeds in the core are packed with a compound called amygdalin. This stuff only becomes dangerous when you crush or chew the seeds. When you do, your body's enzymes turn the amygdalin into actual cyanide. Yes, the same poison you hear about all the time. It's the apple's defense mechanism. The apple wants animals to eat its flesh to spread the seeds, but it doesn't want them crushing and destroying those seeds. So there's a tiny chemical weapon sitting right in the middle. But don't panic. If you swallow the seeds whole, nothing happens. They'll just pass right through you. You'd need to thoroughly chew and swallow a lot of seeds from multiple apples to actually get sick. Your body can handle small amounts just fine. Still, it's wild that one of the healthiest foods carries tiny poison pills inside. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.